Good morning. This Memorial Day is an historic day. Being in the middle of a pandemic and not able to gather around our usual parade and other ceremonies that happen around town to honor our fallen heroes. We are doing our first virtual Memorial Day ceremony. Welcome to our select board member, Symphony Napoli. In quiet services across our country today, we come together as a nation to remember those lost in the clash of battle, the thunder of bombs, the roar of tanks, the rumbling of airplanes flying overhead, and the scream of artillery shells. This Memorial Day, we come together even if only in mind and spirit to honor the many sacrifices made for our freedom. As we enjoy living in the land of the free and the home of the brave, we must continue to remind Americans that there is no freedom without bravery and those we honor today were brave when it counted the most. Amid the war-torn decades we've endured, we take great pride in, in the, these heroes, these men and women who believed they were just doing their duty. They had strength when the situation demanded it, determination when everything felt lost, and devotion, courage, and patriotism when others looked to them for guidance. No one ordered them to practice the most basic of human ideals. They did it because they were Americans and lived in a nation worth defending. Generation after generation has been fortunate enough to reap the benefits paid for by those who believe that freedom is worth fighting for, and if necessary, dying for. In cemeteries across America and around the world today, people will pause to spread flowers and the graves, on the graves of those lost in war. But today should not be about the sorrow we feel at their loss, and not about mourning. What it should be about is best expressed by George by General George S. Patton back in 1944 when at a military ceremony in France. Looking out across a field filled with rows of crosses marking the graves of men who just days before had been part of his army, Patton said, we should thank God that such men lived. And that is what this very special day is all about, being thankful that such brave men and women have lived and to pay tribute to those heroic patriots who bravely rose up and fought for something greater than themselves, protecting a home to which they never returned. They sacrificed everything for the hopeless, hopeless of causes, and it's up to you and me to carry their memory forward in, in an effort to repay a debt that can never truly be repaid. Flowers, memorials, and flags at half-staff, and the sad notes of taps, as meaningful as they are, they are not enough. What we really must do to honor their sacrifice is to live about, live what they died for. Live the America they died for. A country of freedom, equality, opportunity, and an unlimited promise. Live filled with hope, hope that what they gave us will last forever, that freedom and opportunity will find all who seek it. Live to preserve their legacy, educating all who believe Memorial Day is just another holiday and passing along our knowledge to the next generation so that they may do the same. We must ensure that the youth of today understand the true cost of freedom. Today we do more than just carry on, tra on tradition dating back to 1866 when the first formal Memorial Day observers were conducted. We go beyond tradition, beyond remembering the, and beyond mourning. Today we work together to make this the country they died for building a better nation each and every day. They gave up their todays for our tomorrows, and now we must carry their message of dedication and determination to the generation in uniform today and to the generations who will serve tomorrow, because there is no greater way to honor the memory of those who have secured it. Since last Memorial Day, we have buried the following veterans here in West Lawn. They are Paul J. Curtin, Joseph A. Biagioni, Air Force, Korea, Walter D. Barkas, Army, Vietnam, James H. Moody, Navy, World War II, Richard F. Packard, Navy, World War II, John W. Hathaway, Navy, World War II, Robert O. Anderson, Navy, World War II, Louis Catalano, Marine, World War II, Robert C. Bradshaw, Navy, World War II. Albert, Albert F. Glavy, Navy, World War II. Adidas Kosuzik, John F. Parks, Donald W. Sowell, Dorothea Chase, 
Navy. Robert R. Roy. Please join me now in a moment of personal reflection on this Memorial Day's remembrance of our nation's best. Thank you. Thank you all for supporting our veterans. God bless America's fallen. God bless our troops. Stay safe and healthy. Memorial Day address will be given by Cindy Napoli, a member of the Board of Selectmen. Thank you, Cindy. Greetings, Littleton. My name is Cindy Napoli. I'm the chairwoman of the Littleton Board of Selectmen. On behalf of the board and the town of Littleton, I'd like to take a moment to say thank you to our servicemen and women for their dedication and sacrifice to our country, as well as our community. Littleton has a strong support network here for um, members of our military, active duty and um, retired. We have a wonderful organization called the Friends of Littleton Veterans that has been formed recently that work very closely with Littleton VFW Post 6556, as well as Veterans Agent John Browski. And I'd like to just take a moment to acknowledge uh, Mr. Browski for his work and dedication um, to members of the military living here in Littleton to help provide them with the support and service that they need. Thank you very much, John, for all your hard work and what you do for our town. It's, it is sincerely appreciated. Littleton is uh, proud to host um, VFW Post 6556 on Taylor Street. The post is also an American Legion post, which I don't think many people realize, but it is a great, great asset to our community and one that I hope more veterans and active duty um, military members will take take advantage of and, and stop in there and visit once it is reopened. Um, again, that's another another business that unfortunately had to close due to the pandemic. Um, there are many heroes that walk among us. There are many residents in Littleton who have served or continue to serve in the American Armed Forces. Um, there are our business owners. There are elected officials. They are our volunteers, and some of them are town employees. So I wanted to just take a moment to acknowledge them and say thank you. Their, their level of service didn't end when their uh, military career did. They continue to give back, um, not only to our country, but to our community. So I wanted to just say a special thank you to them as well. Um, again, this Memorial Day will be different than years past. But I, it's been heartwarming for me personally to see the number of residents that have decorated their doors and the front of their homes to show support for um, our servicemen and women. I think that's been, um, it was a great idea from the Friends of Littleton Veterans to bring that together. And I wanna thank them for that in initiative and, and thank all the residents that participated in that. Um, as I had mentioned before, Littleton has a strong military um, community within our community um, and I, I'm, I'm proud that Littleton has been able to provide the support and resources that they need but also just to overall the community has done a great job of coming together and acknowledging them and thanking them and honestly the words thank you do not do not mean enough. Um, the Edgar P. Romley Veterans Corner rededication ceremony was a wonderful community event last year. It was um, took place in November. It's something that I'm incredibly proud of as an elected official to be a part of. And it was um, very heartwarming to see the number of residents that came out um, to attend that event and also how the community came together to help that event happen. Um, from the fire department with hanging the gigantic oversized American flag on Littleton Common to the um, highway department that were instrumental in helping bring the Veterans Corner project together it, itself um, to our police department for um, stepping in and, and helping to provide the resources we need we needed at the, the dedication ceremony um, as well as local small business owners um, Banjoni Landscaping Paul Banjoni was did an amazing job of designing um, and installing the pavers at the Veterans Corner. It really is something that we as a community should be very proud of. And I know I'm very proud of it. 
Um, so I just wanted to take a moment and mention, mention that project. I also, um, again, want to remind the public that it's easy um, to forget what Memorial Day is all about. It's a day of remembrance. There's hundreds of men and women who have lost their lives for the United States of America. They fought for our freedom and sacrificed, paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we could live the way we do and enjoy the freedom that we do every day. I think sometimes it gets lost, um, especially Memorial Day weekend. It's a three-day weekend. It's the kickoff of summer. Um, but the meaning of this weekend really gets lost. Um, it's not about store sales and it's not about um, cookouts. It's about remembrance. So I would just ask everybody to take a moment this weekend and, and do something special. Um, maybe someone you know served in the military or does serve in the military and maybe you could just drop them a note and say thank you. And then, you know, also maybe you could light a candle um, just a remembrance of the hundreds of men and women, thousands that we've lost um, because they chose the path of service over self. And I just don't want um, us to forget that. Thank you very much um, on behalf of the town. And again, um, the Board of Selectmen, thank you for your sacrifice and service. Lest we forget, little Tim will never forget. Thank you.
Fire squad, when they're honors.